my name is Steven, and this, this is the fifth video in my new series called Introduction to Code Igniter. In this video, I'm going to take everything we've learned so far, use it, and we're going to, uh, we're going to build a simple little calculator in Code Igniter. Um, we'll be focusing on passing values into views and values into models, and then back from the model, and then into the view, and you'll, you'll see. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll pick up where we left off last time. First thing I want to do is just delete this because I don't need it anymore. We're not going to be using it. Uh, second thing is I want some new variables. Um, just simply quotations var one, and I'll make this two, and then because I'm in PHP ED, I'll press Control D, and then I'll just copy the line var two. And we'll make this eight, whatever, right? Um, next thing I want to do is I want to load the math model that we made in the last video. So what I'll do is I'll go this load model math, and then I want to I will do that in a second here. Now if we go into the math model, what I want uh, to start doing is I want to add these two numbers together, and then I want to sub subtract them together, and then I want that data to be viewable in our view underscore home view. So what we'll do is we'll go into the math model, and we'll start preparing, or start, we'll start uh, writing this model. So for add, this is pretty, uh, pretty good, and we'll just do the same thing for subtract. It'll be very, very simple extends nope <laughs> function sub of course that just stands for subtract val1 it'll receive two parameters val1 and val2 exactly like the one above it um, we're going to return val1 Correct. Val two, and then that. Now, um, in this math model, we could also do things like multiply and divide. But just for the sake of making this video shorter, we're not going to do that. But uh, you can use your imagination, <laughs> or actually, go ahead. I challenge you to uh, when when you're finished watching this tutorial, go back and make a multiplier and a divider mod. Uh, function in that model and then have it echo in the view as well like you'll see what we're about to do um, now that we have um, yeah now that we've made that model we're going to actually call the functions in the model so we'll go this um, math add and the two parameters we're going to pass in are the data one and data this should be a comma or two we're passing that passing those two parameters what it's going to do is it's going to add them together and then we're going to make a new variable here and it will also be an object in this array and this will be the add total. So the total of what we're adding together will be what is returned from this function in the model. I'm going to press control D or for the sake of not everyone having notepad plus plus or PHP ED. I'll just copy and paste this line and we'll just keep it real simple. Subtotal is equal to this math add except for we're going to change that to sub so that is we're calling the sub model sub function in this model now passing in the same same values which is these two two and eight and then we're sending everything to the view underscore home uh, view so now if we go into view underscore home we can start um, displaying this data just make some h2 we'll go add 
Wiki. Open up a paragraph tag, and then let's go. We'll say L one. No, no. We have to open up PHP tags first. And we'll echo. L one. Plus val, val two is equal to add total. Now, I'm hoping this is going to make sense. What I'm doing here is all I'm doing is echoing out val1, val2, and add total. Like I said, or like I taught in the last video, when you pass an array into a view, all of the objects in the, in the array become variables in the view. So var1, even though it's an object in the, data, in the data array, is actually becoming a variable in this once it's passed into the view. So when I just reference the variable of val1, it's directly referencing actually to or this object in this array. Um, we'll do the same thing for subtracting. I'm just going to copy and pa paste this. Keep the video nice and short. Subtract. And then just subtract that and go subtotal. Even though it's not actually the subtotal, it's the subtraction total, but that's just how I named it. So if we save this and then we go into our local host and run this, we have problems. Um, and that is because I'm saying var1 in the controller and val1 in the views. So we're just going to go and change that. No problem. Save it. And we'll re refresh this. And there you go. We have, uh, even though this looks really simple and really basic, what we've actually just done is, if we can do this, that is an indicator that we, to that we understand model view controller. We can successfully pass values and parameters into a model, receive them back, and then pass that into a view to be show or to be viewed by the user or by you just for the sake of learning. So yeah, um, the next video we'll be talking about uh, URLs, mod rewrite, autoload, and URI. Thank you for watching.